welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby and today we're going to talk about free gold level admiralty ships. Now what do I mean when I say gold level admiralty ships? Well you can see I've got quite a few shown right here that uh, all, most of which are free or relatively inexpensive. Okay, so let's get to it. So, and there's actually a couple more that, or at least one more that is not, a couple more that aren't, that's not even listed here on this character, and we'll talk about that as well. So, first of all, the IKS Hag, and you get this, this is actually quite a nice ship. It has 62 engineering, 42 tech, 31 psi, and gives plus 20 psi per ship, except for shuttles, of course. And this comes from simply completing or leveling your Klingon Empire campaign up to level 10. So you get this far all the way up to level 10 and you will automatically get this ship for free. Very nice ship. Quark's Triumph, 49 eng, 45 tac, 41 psi, very nice little stats there. And minus 20 maintenance per any ship except for small craft. That comes from completing level 10 of the Ferengi Alliance campaign. Then we have the VSS Tanius. This is a very useful ship. This is the one, the gold ship here that is not free. This one you can actually get from getting a rare trade-in token from the Phoenix box. Very, very useful ship. Uh, this will actually, on its own, complete at 100% any assignment up to and including 9 out of 10 on a uh, tour of duty. So very, very useful card to have. So I definitely recommend this if you get a rare token out of the Phoenix box, make sure you get that ship, that Admiralty card if you're doing Admiralty. And then we have the CUV Tane. This comes from running the, um, the missions from the uh, Victory is Life arc, the Gamma Quadrant arc. We have the USS Postdoc, and this comes from running Time and Tide and claiming the Admiralty Bundle. Very useful ship. You notice it ignores plus psi from events and gives plus eight psi per any ship. Plus it has a very high amount of science in and of itself. So, very useful little ship there for when you get, say, an event that adds 75 science to, uh, to something and it has a high science requirement to start with. This would be a very useful ship to slap on there. And again, that's from running Time and Tide. And then you have the USS Sally Ride. This is another one like the Hag. It adds plus 20 psi per any ship. It has a very high science itself, although the engine attack are a little low, but again, a very useful ship. There's also, not pictured here, you get a ship from completing 10 out of 10 in the United Federation of Planets. You do get a ship as well and you'll get one and that'll have a uh, it'll be similar to the USS Pastec however it will not add plus 20 psi nor will it ignore um, the science requirement or the um, not the science the science uh, addition from events then we have the Romulan reputation and the Romulan reputation will add another ship as well once you get that to 10 out of 10 on the um, on the campaign alright now 
so one of the ships that were meant was the USS Sally Ride. So you notice here I'm at Narendra 3. And just for reference, let's pull up the map. Here is the Narendra system. Here is why I am at the Narendra system. The USS Sally Ride is a free ship, but you do have to claim it. You can claim it on any level tune as long as it can get to Narendra. Now, you get to Narendra and you will see flying around somewhere around here the Sally Ride. So I tend to go slow and there it is. So you see that was not what I wanted. That was not what I wanted either. Okay. Let's see here. So you see it pops up. There we go. Hail USS Sally Ride. Now all I have to do is hail and it will ask, it gives me this, hailing frequencies open and tells me and you'll notice I'm actually on a Klingon character and this character is level 3. Okay. So this is pretty much the lowest level character you're going to be able to claim this on. Because again, you do have to be able to leave the uh, starting point. So is the Sally Ride available to assist us? And it tells me Starfleet has authorized her for attached duty. Acknowledged. And boom. And here it is. I have picked it up. Now I'm not going to be able to access my Admiralty to show it. But... I have picked it up and when I do get to level 52 on this character, I will be able to, uh, I will have that available to use as my Admiralty, one of my Admiralty ships. Very useful ship, very easy to claim. So there you go, we have, so definitely gold ships very useful to have. Again, we have ships that come from just completing 10 out of 10 on the campaign. Now this is not tour of duty when we say campaign, this means the actual campaign along here. And uh, we have ones that come from the Phoenix box, completing a mission arc, completing a mission, and then just flying to a place and claiming it. Fairly easy. And these are all very useful and handy cards to have as part of your Admiralty collection. So again, this has been Teacher Kirby. I hope you've learned something, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like the video that you, that you do enjoy. If you like what you see, click that like button. And uh, don't forget to ring the bell to subscribe and you'll be notified when a new video comes out. If you'd like to support Teacher's Corner, consider becoming a patron. The link will be popping up, or is, you can find the link, sorry, by clicking on the right hand corner of, your, of this video. And see you next time.